Governor Perry defending his actions after the criminal indictment against him, supporters rushing to his side, critics calling for him to resign. KXAN's Kevin Schwaller has been looking into the governor's options and has more for us tonight. Tomorrow we could learn more about what's next for the governor. That's when the special prosecutor said he's supposed to speak with Perry's attorney. We're also waiting for Perry to go through what's known as a booking process for the charges. And today a Perry appointee spoke about his take on this indictment and what he believes it's truly about. Governor Rick Perry is blasting the indictment against him. This indictment amounts to nothing more than abuse of power. So what's next? If you're not willing to plea, and he's been pretty clear that he's not going to do that, he's going to fight it tooth and nail. So the options are try to get the indictment thrown out, and if that doesn't work, get ready for trial. Ross Fisher was a Perry appointee to the State Ethics Commission and the commission's former chairman. He says the indictment is the beginning of this process. I think it's designed to be a distraction. I think there's a saying that you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. And I think that the intent here is to take the governor for a ride. The charges come as Perry is winding down his final term as governor. And Perry is often mentioned as a possible 2016 Republican presidential contender. Perry. Special prosecutor in the case, Michael McCrum, responded Friday to a question asking about critics who may cry that this case is political. I'm not going to get into that. That didn't go into my consideration whatsoever. I looked at the law, I looked at the facts, and I presented uh, uh, everything possible to the grand jury. Now, this legal defense will cost money. A Democratic member of the Texas House is questioning who should represent the governor and if the Texas taxpayers have to pay the bill for the governor's defense. Now, Perry has a high-profile defense attorney for this case. We reached out tonight to the governor's office and the attorney general's office about the funding, but didn't immediately get a response back. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. Well, it appears your tax dollars could be paying for the governor's defense. By the numbers now, financial reports we uncovered show that the governor's office has made nearly $80,000 in payments to Perry attorney David Botsford. However, we don't know what these payments specifically were for. The first payment that we caught up with was in June, totals nearly $42,000. The second payment, made just last month, a little less than 38,000. That totals 80 in all. Our in depth coverage of the Perry indictment continues on our Sunday political program, State of Texas In Depth. This morning, we spoke with the man whose organization filed a lawsuit against the governor. This complaint and these indict indictments are not about his veto, though he would like to have the public believe that. They're really about his threats before the veto. He has the right to veto anything. He does not have the statutory authority to threaten another public official. See that full episode? We posted it with this story on KXAN.com. Our con coverage of Governor Perry's indictment will continue online at our website. There you'll find a timeline explaining how all this began, plus a breakdown of what's next.